Hey Leute, willkommen zurück zu Danganronpa 2. There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. Photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize. Hey, what's the envelope? What's an envelope? What's inside? Shut up. What makes you think you have any right to question me? It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause... Paco is the killer, right? But... we already voted! That's why I told you. You're all too late. Ansoft? As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Uh, hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. What? The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No, I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? Nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! H how would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? Ansoft? Arschen? Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Hmm. Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiro Koisumi is... Hold on a sec. <laughs> okay, Sorry. I'll wait. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. Hey! There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Pekka is the killer. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey! Why? <laughs> well, that's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a friggin' human being. Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. You just don't know that there are per people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself. Only exists to be tools. Hey! What does she mean, Fuyuhiko? <sighs> Peko and I grew up together. Um. Are you two childhood friends then? No. No, it's completely different than that. 
Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kusurio clan took me in. I am nothing but a tool. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty at my young master's property. What? Property, you say? <laughs> it means she's a hitman arranged by, a cl by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... You're wrong. You're not a tool, Pekko. Because if you are a tool, <sighs> then what was all the time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend! That is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean? No. It's not as if... That started that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household, household's power. He even hates me. The tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what, I am, a, I am told I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahiro wasn't you, it was... Fuyuhiko? Damn it! It... It is... What it is. When I thought I'd beat that game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it! I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photo photos? Don't fuck with me! And she's... She's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You... Try to confirm it with Mahiro. And that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Yeah, I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd, re she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... I'm pretty sure Mahiro was confused too. I mean, we were all... We all were... Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident has happened. That's why even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Uh you know when Mahiro, you know when Mahiro spoke to Iboki, she mentioned something about this. Aww. Sorry, I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, Mahiro? If you want to talk about it there, it'd be totally fine. Hmm. It's pretty important, so you know, it'd be troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um. Serious or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would... But... I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can't cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh... She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hyoka was the only one who accepted her invitation. <laughs> I should have gone too. But... It was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyuhiko? If you could make a, make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you could easily lure my hero into a trap, right? Hey! By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the... Seriously, what the heck? An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here... Damn it! I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... My young master thought of a plan and executed it. <laughs> and wanted to use a bat as the murder weapon because... In that game, that's what, what, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge... For revenge... Club any person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you killed Mahiro with the bat. <clears throat> but still, 
I believed her up till the very last minute. That I believed her up till the very last minute. That that game was just a work of fiction. But even so, that bitch. Hey. If that game is actually real, are you the one who killed Girl E? Why you? I don't want to hear about that. But the fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but Why? you shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over my hero, I was still trying to find an excuse not to go through with the plan. Yeah. But after she said that to me, that's all went that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment, <laughs> young master called for me and made me kill my hero. Also war sie doch, wo sie, um, wo ihn, wo sie umgebracht hat. Huh? Young master, I am finished. What? Are you saying that you killed because you were ordered to? <laughs> a tool is not defined by its will, but it, but by by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Of course. Of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. <laughs> so everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. You're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes. Okie dokie, I'll be, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be! You insisted that you were sparkling just in order to make us ha hasten our, wo our votes? <laughs> so we fell for it. We fell for a trick as all, all along. <laughs> That's right. You guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool, as the killer, unaware that the, that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong! Hold on, don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. No, it should be decided already, isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit it, all this talk about Pekka being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fahiko's actually a true killer. <sighs> hold on, I'm telling you to hold on! I see. For Pekko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope, then. On this behalf, you killed Mahiro, and now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! You would only get that far because he's your, he's your one and only hope. Wrong! I have no hope. I'm just... <laughs> a tool. <sighs> well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then! So I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? About what? Hey! Is Pekko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Pekko and the rest of us? <laughs> Is that your hope? What? Hold on! What's the use of asking something like that? What? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Pekko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Hoyhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on, on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Huh? I... I... Um... Fuyiko? Yeah. I know you hate her guts, but... Huh? If you listen to Pekko, we're all gonna die. Yeah. I... I... Young master. You just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I... Fuyuhiko, you mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots Biyaki and Territory are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's time when it's my time to kill. You... you're still saying that. Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? Young master! 
There's no need to hesitate, young master. Please, just tell him the truth. Young master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did, did as I was told because I'm a tool. Hmm. Fujito, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'll still lose Peko, but... Hey. If you insist you're the killer just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Peko and fight alongside us to, against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! Young master, I am finished. You? What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Hey, Pekko. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am... my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, a tool serves no purpose. God damn it! we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying?! Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. <laughs> then... why did you...? I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You... you idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away, got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So about it, Fuyiko. Please tell me the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Peko. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Young master! I'm a disgrace. Cuz, if that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. You mean I can't live without depending on something? I just feel disgusted with myself. Peko. And if I admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool that give it given to me by the Kusurio clan. Young master! Uh oh! Oh my, so this is how it turned out. Too bad! Near I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her some actions. Why you? There's no way a human that some could ever be considered a tool. Hey. Monokuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew about what Pekka and Fuyihiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and even if it was an act of desperation, Pekka's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. <laughs> but too bad, you're definitely the killer. Pekka, the tool with a heart, is the killer. Sorry. Pekka, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though... You did all that to provide me the chance to survive, but I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Young master! You have a kind heart, despite being a Yakuza. That's why I question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself. I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then why... Even so. I wanted you to escape. I wanted to protect you. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very, very end, young master. I... <sighs> and I'm sorry for what I've done to, done to you all too. It may be a selfish, re selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this. 
Ever again. Oh, das wird leider passieren. Of course. Pekko. That will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. Just so you know, I will never feel despair as long as I'm a tool. I'm fully prepared to die. So cool! But you, will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People that act as proud as you always share, shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> Now then, let's begin. Young master for you, Hiko. Please, permit me to make one final selfish request. So? Did I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. I told Peko Peko Yama. He used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep? I don't need any tools. <sighs> He did say that. <laughs> Then let's begin the punishment time brimming with despair. Jeez. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills, chills, kills! This time for the ultimate swordswoman, Peko Peko Yama. Why? You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For you. I... Never needed a sword or shield. I never needed... a tool. So... You didn't... need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! <laughs> Please, Pekko! Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young Master? Young Master? Hat sie ihn jetzt gerade auch umgebracht oder hat sie irgendwie das Auge oder so? Ist auf jeden Fall irgendwas von ihm getroffen. Ah, okay, gut Leute, wie sagen, machen wir im nächsten Part weiter und beenden den Class Trial. Oder glaube ich zumindest. Und ciao.